I remember years ago, long time ago, I had worked at this job and there was a bonus that we could get. So I worked hard for that bonus and I reached the goals to get that bonus and I earned that bonus. But when I looked at my paycheck, it wasn't there. It wasn't there for days, then it wasn't there for weeks, then it wasn't there for months. So I brought it up to my manager and I was like, hey, I didn't get the bonus. And they were like, well, did you do everything to earn it? I said, yeah. And then they went over my numbers and everything and they saw that I had did everything and more to earn that bonus. So they were like, oh, that's a big mistake on our part. Let's fix it. So what they gave me was retroactive pay or back pay. So moving forward, when I would get paid from this point forward, I would get paid extra until I got everything that I missed, everything that I didn't get paid for before. With the Baltimore Ravens yesterday, it seemed like they got some back pay or some retroactive pay because they went with Odell Beckham Jr. They, they signed him a long time ago, months ago. It felt like Odell Beckham Jr. been a Baltimore Raven for forever. The way that he's embraced the fans, the city, uh, just everything that he's been doing that's involved the Baltimore Ravens, like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's one of us. And sometimes it's still hard to believe. But then yesterday, yesterday, when it came out that the Tennessee Titans, they were the ones that were signing uh, DeAndre Hopkins. It was like, oh, OK, we got that back pay. We got that back pay because we didn't realize that we were going to get that back pay. But yesterday made us like, oh, OK, there we go. Because if I take you back to this report that came out uh, on May 27th, of this year it says it's from albert breer said more on deandre hopkins the chiefs and bills were the only teams to have substantive substantive trade talks with arizona so the chiefs and bills are talking to arizona about trying to get deandre hopkins those are one of the teams that i always thought deandre hopkins was going to go to because those are two teams that are always in the mix if somebody comes available and somebody good comes available those two teams are always in the mix trying to make their teams a lot better even though they have really good teams already they always trying to take the next step to make them even better anyway he said also said as was the case with kansas city contract was the issue for buffalo so both teams were talking to DeAndre Hopkins, but the contract, that, that's where the holdup was. But then this part, KC made progress, so the Chiefs, hey, they were like, all right, DeAndre, okay, we're talking about this, we're talking about that, let's talk some numbers, okay, we like that, let's talk some years, okay, you like this, okay, ooh, good, nice. But it says KC made progress, but Odell Beckham Jr.'s deal, the $15 million base, more or less blew that progress up. <laughs> Hey, so the Ravens, they won. They won in this because, yes, now, now let, let's continue first before we get into it. And then he also said, as for where this goes next, again, this was from May 27th, so a while back. But as for where this goes next, I say the price will dictate that. Under current circumstances, unlikely Casey or Buffalo go get him. They, unlikely they get DeAndre Hopkins. If his price drops, both teams offered incentive heavy deals, then maybe so. The Bills and the Chiefs. They offered DeAndre Hopkins deals, but they were incentive heavy. So what that means is that it's a low base salary. It's a low base salary, but if you reach these numbers, if you reach these goals, then you reach these incentives, then you're going you're gonna to get that money back. But see, that's where Odell Beckham Jr.'s deal is the exact opposite. Odell Beckham Jr. has an $18 million deal. That's the max that his deal can be for this year, $18 million. But... The base is 15 mil. So even if he does not hit the incentives, which I think are actually very easy for him to hit, uh, but I do think uh, I think Rashad Bateman is going to lead this year in receiving yards. But again, we'll talk about that later. Um, but as long as he stays healthy, obviously, I hope everybody stays healthy. But again, another conversation for another time. We ain't talking about that right now. But with Odell Beckham Jr., one mil, well, one mil because he got four void years on the back of his deal, but one year deal worth up to $18 million, but the base is 15 mil. The incentives are only three mil. But this sounds like it would be something that would sort of kind of be the opposite, where it could be, just to use the 18 million as an example, but it would probably be flipped, where it could be up, up to $18 million, but the base might be 3 mil and the incentives could be 15 mil, because it said it's incentive, it was incentive heavy, both from the Bills and the Chiefs. But again, the Ravens, they messed everything up for both of those teams. But anyway, continuing, he says, uh, if his price drops, both teams offered incentive-heavy deals, then maybe. Both Casey and Buffalo talked directly to Hopkins, and they liked him. So, obviously, he did not go to Buffalo. Obviously, he did not go to Kansas City Chiefs, even though that was the thought that those were two places that he was highly likely to go. I, again, that's what I thought that it was going to happen with DeAndre Hopkins, but nope. 
because of the Ravens and their overpay for Odell Beckham Jr. Again, we said this from jump. They, they overpaid for Odell Beckham Jr., but they had to do that. They had to overpay for Odell Beckham Jr. So, I mean, was it really an overpay? Well, yeah, it still is, but they, they had to. Because think about this. Your franchise quarterback, well, who it was looking kind of shaky if he was going to be a franchise quarterback or not because y'all ain't had no deal. Y'all had franchise tag, but he ain't signed no franchise tag. That, that franchise tag was just sitting out there floating around. And Lamar was looking at that thing. Ravens were looking at that thing. And it was like, oh, okay, who's going to make that first move? But they talked. They continued to talk. And Lamar asked him about DeAndre Hopkins and Odell Beckham Jr. Now, Odell Beckham Jr. was also being sought after from the New York Jets. And he was actually going to go visit with the Jets. So then... That pressure was on the Ravens. Ravens being known as a place where receivers' careers go to die. Ravens being known as a place as a receiver graveyard. Ravens being known as a place where receivers just, it, it, it ain't looking good if you go there. Even though re, in recent years, obviously with Hollywood Brown, that tune has started to change. With Rashad Bateman, that tune is still changing. So we're going to see, but it, it wasn't looking good in, in the way that the, what the Ravens were known for as far as wide receivers, it was not pretty. So with them having Aaron Rodgers and there being so much uncertainty with you at your quarterback position, Ravens had to overpay. They had to overpay for, to get an Odell Beckham Jr. That was the only way. Because if he would have went to New York, even though they did have quite a few receivers over there, had he went to New York, he could have been entitled. Oh, I get to play with A-Rod. Oh, I get to play in New York again. The bright lights. Ooh. A big market city. Ooh. I'm Odell Beckham Jr. I'm already super popular. I'm already a superstar. But I get to go back to New York. They get so much coverage already. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to love it. But the Ravens said, hold up. You know what? Well, another thing that's against us, we're not known to pay wide receivers. That's just not what we do. But they did it. They did it. They had to step way outside of their comfort zone. They had to step way outside of the box to make this happen. And they did just that. But now, just yesterday, they're getting back pay from this. They're getting that retroactive pay because the Chiefs, they wanted DeAndre. It was even said a couple of days ago that DeAndre Hopkins was waiting for the Chiefs. He was waiting for them to open up some money for him. But the Chiefs said, we, we can't do it, my friend. We can't do it. So he was waiting. So he was like, man, Titans what? Patriots what? Chiefs, please. Please. Come on, y'all. Let's go. But they just couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. They could not do it. And DeAndre Hopkins, obviously, I mean, I, I can't even say it's a rumor or anything because we saw the deal that he took. But he was not about to settle for no incentive-based deal or anything like that. No, he, and he didn't. He followed the money. He got his bread. He got a significant amount of money at this point in free agency. Now, I was just talking to my guy JT um, yesterday and... Uh, with Odell Beckham Jr., he got, he got paid more than uh, DeAndre Hopkins. And that's crazy. Like, Odell Beckham, he didn't even play last year. He didn't play last year. And he got paid more than uh, DeAndre Hopkins. But we always talk about on here, timing is everything. It's everything. It's everything. So the timing that Odell Beckham Jr. and his market was at, if DeAndre Hopkins had got released back then, oh yeah, DeAndre Hopkins would have got some more bread. But he was released so late, and that was that. So, yeah, man, the, the Cardinals, uh, they, I mean, it's a nasty business, man. It's a nasty business. They tried to trade him, but trade talks, I guess, fell apart, and then, boom, they were like, you know what? Goodbye. You can go. So, it is what it is. But I, I remember just looking through the comments in yesterday's video where the Titans signed DeAndre Hopkins, seeing so many Ravens fans say the exact same thing. At least he didn't go to the Chiefs. At least he didn't go to the Bills or Chiefs. At least he didn't go to Casey or Buffalo. I saw that so many, <laughs> so many times. <laughs> I was like, "Ooh, that's some prime hating right there, baby." But um, yeah, they like at least, at least he ain't go there. They like we ain't get him, but at least he ain't go there, buddy. So, I said, hey, I, I, I see you, man. But yeah, 
So this, this, this Odell Beckham Jr. deal was so significant in so many ways. Obviously, you get a, a really good receiver if he's healthy. Hopefully, he remains healthy this entire year. Hopefully, the, all Ravens stay healthy this entire year. But you get a really good receiver. You get a playmaking receiver. You get a receiver that's played literally in every single type of game. You get somebody who's been one of the best receivers in the game, and hopefully he can continue that. So you get somebody who's like that, but also – you get somebody who helps you secure your franchise quarterback as well. He played a huge part in that. But then even beyond that, now you keep him away. You keep DeAndre Hopkins away from the Chiefs and the Bills. Uh, two teams that you're going you're gonna to have to run into. If you're going to make it to where you want to go, you are going to have to go through those teams. And those teams know how to give you some trouble. I mean, they know how to give the NFL some trouble. But you prevented them from getting better. Now, you don't avoid DeAndre Hopkins in the process because you still got to go overseas to go play him. But you avoid him going to those guys. So Ravens, they ended up winning when they weren't even in the battle. But anyway, team, keep it clean. We have a great week planned for y'all. Um, just an amazing week uh, filled with a lot of uh, – Y'all are going to love it. I, I'm, I'm super excited for it. Training camp is getting ready to start for the rookies, but it's, it's going to be such a, a fun week this week. So I appreciate y'all. I love you all so, so, so much. Y'all keep being great. Leave a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so when we drop everything this week, you do not miss not one single thing. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And we are out.